shot no one else from media is getting. I can't climb up your ladder. I can't ride your horse. I swallowed half an hourglass. So now the landscape is swollen. Morning, Jake. Da -da 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 It's a bittersweet day today, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an incredibly significant event today. We're going up to one of my favorite places in the world, Glasgow, for one of my favorite festivals in the world, Transmit. And it's the last one of the season, so it's very bittersweet, but we're gonna have an absolute blast. Big crew, great squad. Let's go have some fun for maybe the last time in a little while. So the Transmit is a very significant festival for me and probably for you as well, Jay. Yeah, absolutely. Personally, the best gig I've ever seen in my life was Transmit 2017, Biffy Clyro, when we made it onto BBC. And we always forget that 1975 supported them as well. Yeah, it's <laughs> easy to forget that. when he was at his best off his head on heroin. Oh. Hi, Raz. Hello. First time ever to Glasgow. Yes. That was mad, that. Yes. It is one of the best cities you'll visit. Got a little treat. Right, for the record. We're back! <laughs> things, things we love. Scotland. Absolutely. Truly, madly and dearly. <laughs> things we fucking hate. The Daily Mail. It's good to be back. Thanks for having us. I feel like when Bart Simpson goes back, goes to Australia to have his, his ass kicked. All right, we've just got here. Chris said this place is beautiful, but it looks a bit dingy to me. Are we in the Bruce? Yeah. Right, so I think we are. Hello, Hamara. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a room for two. Oh, Shit. Good. Cheers for grabbing us some tenants, mate. Do you know what they call them in Scotland? Big Juicy. Do they? Yeah. Oh. Show us the view. Are you ready? I was born the big, ready. The big reveal. Wow. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> oh, there are the bins, just in case you were wondering. Full to the brim. Oh, big tenant. Oh, I wish we weren't tenants of this hotel. I'm kidding, it's all right. It just seems mad that we've got it booked for five nights and they gave us a double bed and you're here for one night and you've got two singles. <laughs> Cheers, man. To a good night of some live music. Cheers. <laughs> it ain't for me that. No. It ain't for me. No. Well, we've had a bit of a shambles, haven't we? Just a little bit. <laughs> Seems to be no taxis anywhere in Glasgow, which isn't a problem I've had before, I don't think. But we're getting a train and then probably a taxi. And then maybe I can finally have my Weatherspoon's pizza. <laughs> Ready for cat house green. We've arrived at Glasgow Green on the early bird ticket, of course. Transmit doesn't start till tomorrow, but the best fucking band in the world playing tonight in their hometown. This is gonna make Leeds Fest look like it was just a trial. Man, I can't wait, I'm not tired in the slightest. I'm very eager, very excited. But as soon as I hear that first note, Watch this head back. Do you remember when this was just a gridlock with people? Yeah, good that times, man, good there. times. This is a long way to walk oh, hey. from there to here. Yeah. It's taken about 15 minutes. It Constant really walking through this fucker. Way. Welcome to Glasgow good. Green. I've been here, I've not been here before. The best place in Scotland. Do you know why? Yeah. Two reasons. Go on. Exhibit A. What, you need another? Exhibit B! Oh, and guess what? Biffy are on as well in a bit. Are you ready for the show to begin? Oh. Billy, yeah. Billy. Red Bull over there, mate. Are they free? Nah. I'll get you one. I, I get, obviously, this is, you know, night one in a sense. It's not taking me chance right now. But one thing that is very weird to see is the amount of people. But the amount of litter that's not on the floor, like, look at this. There's fucking no litter anywhere. Like, I'm gonna keep on my cup. Yeah, you're right, we're I in am. Scotland, mate, all right? Once bitten, twice shy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs>
go finally after fucking waiting for three years. Here we go. too much filming, not even really particularly drunk, just a real visceral memory for me, and a very fond one. Best band on the fucking planet, mate. Don't at me. What's happened with Dan? Yeah. Oh, he messaged, didn't he? He had a really good time. Yeah, where is he? Back at the hotel. Dan was at work last night, yeah. and didn't get back until this morning. So Dan wanted to catch up on some sleep. He was going to sleep in car. So basically, he stayed behind for a little bit just to catch up on some sleep. But unfortunately, he slept through all of his alarms and uh, missed the entire night. We're going to go back to the hotel. And we've got three nights at Cat House we transmit, so we'll enjoy it. Frank House, baby. Right, everyone, good morning. We are in a place called East Kilbride, which is nowhere fucking near Glasgow. Do you know what? It was cheap enough, um, but it is a bit of a miscalculation. Chris, ready, ready for transmit? Right, yeah. No, unfortunately yeah. not. I'm trying to vlog here. You know what I need? It'll sort me right out. Kind of tenants. So we're just talking about Madison Beer and how she's like incredibly talented. Chris is like, who's that? Who's that? And Jake goes, she's not for you, Chris. You've got fucking Mandalorian as your lock screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting old now. Raz is so old, he's even having coke. Oh. So what we started doing is, before we do anything strenuous, we have some ibuprofen. Just to kind of, you know, I'm aching a bit from slam dunk. And can I have some ibuprofen? Yeah. I mean, I, I had root canal the other day, so that's why. For me, I've started just taking them. Genuinely, like, before it, thank you. I'll get us another box. Um, so yeah, bottoms up. Drinking the tenants, the greatest, greatest country in the British Isles. You need to stop England. saying we're getting old now. But it is like, true. People have come at you saying like, stop saying we're you're getting old. Right. But I'm gonna take these two ecstasy pills for breakfast, and then I'm ready for the show to begin. <laughs> oh, they're hot. Yeah. Look at the size of that burger, right? I went to Burger Tribes the other day and the fish was about that big. That's <laughs> mental, man. I've had a lot of chicken in a lot of places and this has truly been wonderful in here. I can't speak highly enough of my meal. Um, incredibly spicy, amazingly well presented, ridiculous <coughs> portions. Bucks Bar in Glasgow. I'll be back. What a great gaff that was, eh? <laughs> what are you laughing about? They were like Lost Profits they were playing. Three Lost Profits songs <laughs> while we are in there. Hilarious. As if it couldn't get better with the food, you get to hear some great music. <laughs> You've been getting out drunk by 18 year olds all day, mate. What's going on? You tell me, mate. I'm feeling my age. Are you, are you, what do you mean you're feeling your age, mate? You're barely 40. <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling my age. So as you know, fortunate enough to get accredited for this one. And we had GA ticket which is general admission went to the box office and the lovely lady oh, to, no. hello. You're all right. <laughs> the lovely lady upped us to VIP and even gave us a Prosecco voucher so thank you so very much thanks for your kind words we love and appreciate you very much I fucking love Scotland man I don't know if it's true or not but the Scots aren't really being allowed to do shit like we have in England 
and it's very clear that they've got a lot of energy to expel and it's lovely to see actually. They're singing the same things we sing in England but with slight changes. I've been in a lot of festival queues in my time and I can safely say I have never seen so many people fucking hammered at one in the fucking afternoon as transmit in Glasgow. And I'm not dissing it. I think it's a beautiful thing. But people are falling over. People are covered in... It is mental, this. That's what Cortina's in fucking lockdown in Scotland does for you. Where is Raz? Roasting in it. No one likes Prosecco, but it's the VIP experience. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Thanks for a good whatever. Right, while them boys aren't here, I just want to say thanks so much to everyone that's made our year so much more than it was initially meant to be. Like, it's easy to forget that this year we were locked down like fully for like at least four months. So I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone that has enabled us to, to have such a good time. Um, you know who they are, and if they're watching, you know who you are. Um, but we, we've been to so many events this year, and like we're meeting people today, and it's their first festival in like 20 months. And we've been so so fortunate to, you know, been doing this for a while now, and, it, and it's easy to forget that it's not normal. It's still not the norm, but we've just been able to do this for so many. Uh, for so many different events from Sefton Park all the way through to this, the last one of the season so I just feel very blessed and I'm very very thankful, very grateful you know you are thanks so much for believing in us and trusting us with a piece of content that hopefully um, shows off the real side of what your event is like, I love you and I do not take it for granted ever Right, they're coming back now, so I'm gonna turn this off and start saying some offensive shit with the boys. This is a really good example of like um, loyalty towards like where you're from. What I mean by that is like Kaiser Chiefs can play in Leeds and sell out, but they wouldn't sell out an academy in London. And AJ Trace is pretty dead up here. But in Leeds he was popping off. And in Reading he was going mental. But all the way up here, like no one really seems to care about AJ. I think it's quite good. I, I like him, yeah, but it's interesting how the crowd changes the further away from his hometown you get. These kicks are my from Virgil no bad like a guy like Keenan. I like this beat. Come and run down his way, Look at this straight bin. There you go. It's nice of a VIP area to finally give me what I deserve. A red carpet. I'd like to give a big shout out to Cinch, Chunch. They've sorted out Latitude. They did Creamfield. The raw transmit bag. They're obviously got a lot of money and they've invested that into these festivals. And I just want to say we appreciate you. You've done nothing for us specifically, but I see you and I appreciate the work that you're doing. And that's not even trying to get some out of a singe because I've just bought a van, so you've got nothing to offer me. Zoe uh, has got some uh, Ray and Nephew. 63%. Literally the worst drink I've ever had in a bar. The nicest drink. So how much are we having? Just a, come on, just a little sweat. Are you having a bit as well? Yeah, of course I will. Why do people in Scotland say shite bag? Because it's amazing. I can't believe I met you guys. I don't think that before you would. Make no mistake, I didn't want to like throw up in person, but that was awful. <laughs> it was really nice. Zoe's yeah, that was fucking awful. awful. Yeah, but I'd rather you have a bit. No, absolutely. Everyone put in the comments, fuck Zoe. Oh my God. Can I get a selfie for my mate with you? Love you guys. It was eight pounds. Sorry. Eight pounds! Two. Exclamation mark. Two. I hate 
here at this. I'm feeling a lot better than I did this morning. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be I'll be honest with you. I was a bit grouchy this morning. You're joking. I, I was still a little bit tired. I was I just needed a drink and I just got Via's just not doing it for me no more. It bloats me up. Didn't help that I'd fucking half a fucking chicken. But well, hey ho, that's my problem. Like that later. Oh, I know exactly what's going to sort us out straight after this ride. Oh. Uh, piss, via, and blossoms. If I'd have been to Sefton Park, I would have never given blossoms a second look. But they were good at Sefton Park. They were great at Leeds Fest. And they're about to be biblical at Transmit. As long as he's a bit older than he was last time. He looks very young. He looks too, you're just too young. Just look older. This is not a hot take. Blossoms are gonna go very far. It's gonna go off in very shortly. Right, here's the plan. Blossoms are playing Charlemagne. Sam Fender's up next, and then the Cortinas. And who cares about Sam Fender? Not us. So we're gonna sit here and drink until the Cortinas. And then we're gonna go to the Cat House and have the night that we should have had last night after Biffy Clyro. But I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit quieter this evening because there's not a massive rock show on, just an indie show. Obviously, we're, wait, we're on YouTube. So we want the YouTube numbers to be like really good. And all I look at is the YouTube numbers. But if you just take a look at the Facebook numbers, we've just hit 8,000 members in the Sam Pelly squad. Now it took 10 years to get to 10,000 YouTube subscribers. So the fact we've got 8,000 in the group is pretty fucking cool if you ask me. Can we change the name yet? What? Can we change the name yet? No, because it's in like all the big videos, isn't it? Ah, true, yeah. We can never change the name of the group or our own handles. Ah, shit. But 8,000 strong, that's a pretty good fucking number. That's a good number, 8,000 of years. I'm going to put a status saying, oh no, I'm not, because I've already posted twice today. Yeah, twice. I literally begged for this opportunity, guys. We're going to watch the Cortinas headline transmit. It's going to be shit. It's going to be fucking terrible. It's going to be excellent, Gregor. We're going to be going to like export. But you know what? You peasants can't get export. Because the only thing with the VIP area. Yeah. 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 We must remain. seems to be commanding a better crowd than Biffy Clyro. And as much as I disagree with that, I'm here to bring you the truth. And people were screaming the lyrics for even the non-album singles. So big up Cortinas. I look forward to seeing your headline right in the leads next year. What are we doing, Raz? Going to the cat's house. You know what always follows a cue, mate? You. Let's get in. Welcome to the cat house, Raz. Good to be here. We. Oh, fuck off. We. Five. Tonight, I'm trying to enjoy myself. It is so loud. Right. 
is so fucking loud. And I know that comes across as me acting like a pussy hole, because I am. But that is mentally loud. Like, you can hear the distortion in the high end of the speakers. I, and I know that well. Just have a fucking drink. Because my car used to do it, but I've upgraded since. I don't know if you know. I said, are you ready for the show to begin? This is the cubicle in question. This is the one. So, if it counts for anything, this is the one. This is literally, it's not even like, it's not even like, oh, good news, like, I'm going to be up front with you. This is where, this is where we had a good night. This is the night in which you can, uh, I'm, off to, I'm off to bed. That's about the time that she came down the stairs. And it worked good. He's had a few yeah, too many too many to be kiddies. Yep. <laughs> you are so full of shit, man. Oh fuck off! Yeah, I'm 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 right. We have to KFC or not? Yep. You're welcome. Sexy doctor. Come on, you slots. Come on. <laughs> Oh, guess what? I think it's this one. Uh, it's you, what, <laughs> you know what? It's like the Titanic. If I just wobble it a bit, it's like, wow. Titanic. <laughs> oh, God, it does stink in here. Oh, Raz. What? You, you <laughs> sorted this out tonight. <laughs> can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> what? Why? Can I can have a bit of peace and quiet. Why? Oh man, I am so fucked. <laughs> I am so fucked. God, it was so good just to. Uh, I just am to. I am I am I am a. Oh, I'm so hammered. <laughs> How have we got back here? <laughs> did I'm, you get us back here? Yeah, I did. And good news, good news, good news, what's sign there? It's the zinger. Popcorn chicken. No way have I got some popcorn chicken. It's the zinger. Yo, what you saying? What? What you saying, man? I literally... <laughs> I literally don't know where we are In it. or what we've done. I'll tell you what, 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 what tonight was. Tonight was a lot of, a lot of faffing about. And you know one company that does no faffing? It's Cinch, mate. At Cinch, you can get you a, a used car with no... Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Two naked boys are coming in. <laughs> Last night was good. Cat house is great, man. I can't wait to go back tonight. <coughs> Rez is having his second shit at day, and it's. Well, as you can see, I'm still in bed, so it's early. Yesterday, I just got into Cat House for free. It's because they like the channel. It's the small things. True care, truth brief. I'm so fucked today that I'm I'm not in my own body. I'm experiencing my day as an onlooker <laughs> watching me. How did that lad get through the whole day? Because he must have done. He must have somehow. The lad yesterday who yeah. was fucked in the queue before the he even started. At midnight. He was on that level at like midday. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for the train to get to here? I said. Okay, bro. Do you know what? That's that same lad again. That is that same That's lad that again. Same Do you know what? We're having a grand. Oh, he's dropped his fags. Glasgow, I've never felt more welcome. 
cat house for free last night. VIP Prosecco tea. And I was well, anxious to come back to Scotland. He just fucking stormed through. He's not stormed through very far because he's there getting checked. So as I said, incredibly well looked after. And I really appreciate it, guys. But I really don't want this Prosecco. Just the, just the smell of it. Just the smell of it. I'm gonna stop filming now because we're in a nice area, but this is good. I know it might seem like I'm over-indexing to, to kind of prove a counterpoint, but I truly do mean that I love being in Scotland so much. I am so happy to be here, and I truly love this city so fucking much, man. So much. There's just an energy in it. There's just an energy that you can't really explain. And it probably stems from my adoration of Biffy Clyro, to be honest, but whenever I'm in this city, I just feel great. Aside from when I'm hungover. We're still best YouTubers here. Hey, 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 hey. Danny White is not ugly. TV. That was a good one. That someone in the mosh pit for Twin Atlantic must have broke something. The paramedics had to come and they had to like put someone on a stretcher in the middle of the pit. It's a shame you weren't like, nude like breaking out in a smile. That'd be nice. I'm smiling all day. How much were they? Nineteen pounds. Bloody hell. That's all right. Next round will be cheaper. They're not nineteen forever. Unremarkable. You thought the stereophonics had no going for him. But at least it's not royal blood. That's true. Fuck royal blood. We've done pretty well all season. We haven't had to sit through a, a royal blood set, and I appreciate that, festival bookers. Yep, it's not my usual type, but let's see what happens. Right, there's no one for us now until Liam. So we're gonna sit in here for like two hours. Oh, fucking hell. Two hours. It's hard life, eh? You're not gonna fucking believe it. We're just dancing until Liam's on, and then we're gonna dance, and then we're off to Cat House, and we're gonna dance. Prime will steal the greatest fucking rock and roll band to ever come out of Scotland. Rock and roll star. to go to. Is Liam Gallagher really worth your time? Yeah, what's interesting is like the fact where like we, we see a lot of a lot of bands and what we're choosing is rather than seeing half of Oasis, a legendary man stood right there. We've just gone, now we want to go out. What a great life. Says a lot about LG as a headliner. 
So for the record, we liked him, yeah, but we've got you. better, bigger fish to deep I fry twice. No one's here to listen to Liam Gallagher. Everyone wants to be at Oasis. And if you're not playing Oasis, I'm bored. Right, what are we saying? Let's hurry up. It's interesting that the festival app, transmit app, had literally recommended for us to leave. It popped up. We were always going to leave, obviously. But the cat house is our headliner. But it popped up saying, ready to leave? And then we went, yeah. Yep. You feeling good, Ras? Yep. I'll take it out the first I know I said I felt welcome in Glasgow, but I didn't mean I was willing to queue for an hour to get into a nightclub. Do you fucking know we are? Look, look, can you tell who we are now? We made it in, finally. Good lord. And we got in for free because the woman on the door watches the channel. So thanks, I love you. Tomorrow, make sure I don't have to queue. It's me, Robert. If there's any club in the UK that's gonna do it, it's gonna be here. Downstairs, glaciers melting in the dead of night, and the superstar sucked into the super. I'm back in the uh, cubicle. I'm 29 years old, everybody. I've been in a lot of nightclubs. And I have never heard a three song run quite as good as technology, the sound, and super massive black hole. Cat House. Excellent. Oh, Captain Jack Sparrow! I fucking love the cat house. What's up? 50 quid for taxi home and I get no food. When you were cunted out your mind last night, I got you some spicy, big old bucket of spicy nugs, not nugs, lots of, lots of breadcrumb chicken. <laughs> what do I get? And, and, and also, 20 quid Uber home and I pay, and, I, and I don't mind that. What do I get when I'm fucked? I get no KFC and I get 50 quid Uber back to Bruce. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm feeling fine, mate. You, you are fucked this evening. Correct. You know what? Tomorrow I'm going to have a sleep in and then same thing again. The best night out I will ever have in my life. And I've been to New York. Yeah, I've also fingered your mum on night out as oh, well. Oh, a bit rude. <laughs> she watches this. I'm so sorry, Liz. That was incredible. And so was last night. And you know what? Shh, shh. Tomorrow night it's going to be good as well. What, what is funny is that we're here for Transmit. Yeah? And all we've done is film pissing about in this <laughs> corridor in a hotel. Oh, no. oh this way I have a shit that you <laughs> Good night. you love to see it. Oh, is a video? Yeah. Oh, shit. Good night. Bastard. Well, here we are. The last day of the last festival of the season. And I'm the most hungover man you'll ever meet in your life. It has been fucking exceptional up here this weekend. It has been truly wonderful. And we get to close it off tonight with the Chemical Brothers. That's a lot of pickles, man. I'd like to give a, a shout out to Raz. Um, thanks for making this year so good. From Sefton Park, through Latitude, Bloodstock, Leeds, this, anything else we've done. It's been me and him, side by side, and I am so dependent on him. 
that when he eventually gets sick of this, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm sure he won't. So big up, Raz. Thanks for making this year um, very good. Wristband on for the sir. Uh, she is a belter. <laughs> she is a belter. What's been your favourite festival of the season? Um, downloads was very good. Underrated downloads. Do you reckon? Yeah. I said it on Twitter, but I want to make it really clear. Never use this phone charge place. Why would you ever do that? Buy a power bank and use it for 10 years. If Do not ever use the phone charging stuff at any festival, ever. Rob Kellis, coming to you live. I'll tell you that my experience at Snow Patrol was excellent. I think that just before the Chemical Brothers, that's a great fucking. That was a, that was a headline slot. I, I don't give two fucks about the Snow Patrol. Make no mistake, but that was excellent. That was truly excellent. Really ready? What? our final drink in the arena of a festival in 2021. We are graced by the presence of the most surprising band of the whole year for me. Band? They're still a band there. The brothers. It is gonna be lovely to watch the Chemical Brothers. Now I know who they are because this saved my weekend at Latitude and they're about to give the cat house a run for its money. We can't even set up a stream correctly. Think of the logistics of this. Listen, brothers, if either of you are watching, First of all, you're good. Second of all, if you want to come on podcast, just send me a DM. Because I'd love to ask you all about those lights. Thanks, everybody. It's been a good one. Thank you. That's all I've got. I'm back in the cubicle. I'm having a sit down wee. I'm so tired. I'm having a sit down wee. I'm tired. Yes. Glasgow Transmit. I love you. I will indeed see you on the other side. It's been a year that we've had. Stand up, Raz, it's the outro to the vlog. No. No. We started this year not even able to sit next to each other in a pub. And here we are. We've come a long way. Thanks. Thanks so much to everyone. There's so many people to thank. Melvin, everyone else. No, there's a lot of people I don't want to name because they don't. They're, they're they're not wanting to be like named in the video. But honestly, thanks so fucking much, man. We have had a blast from Bloodstock to Sefton Park Pilot. We've done it all this year, 
and we couldn't have done it without you. So, have a good one. Monago, Glasgow. And I'll see you for Cortina's in Manchester in one week. <laughs> I have nothing. I'll turn it off. <laughs> <laughs>